shit. So you too. So I got my dry shaft all together. I just got to fix this wiring right here. Uh, remove these old clips right here. Place in the new ones. And go for a test drive. Hopefully she crank up. Just got to make sure everything hooked up. All right, we got a new strap kit. The bolts are about an inch longer. And, uh, see if she crank over and uh, go for a test drive. All right, guys, so we're gonna go for another test drive. Make sure the U straps and all that was tight. I'm gonna go for a drive and then test it out. I these fender flares and stuff out, so I might stop at a car wash and stuff. Hope I can move these that way. Oh, by the way, I'm going to talk about good news in a bit. I'm not going to push hard on it right now. Just drive it. Then I'm going to push on it. But good news, we got the drive shaft in. Everything was nice and smooth. I know where to get a drive shaft from uh, for 50 bucks. Well, 54 compared to goddamn 200 wobbling now so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stop just to make sure everything is uh, fine underneath and make sure everything tight I right, pick up a little speed so that uh, shaft could uh, turn over and all so Oh shit! I forgot about my fucking hood. <laughs> I forgot about my hood. <laughs> Shoot, why I stopped? That's a good thing. My hood came up. Came up. I got a swan up there. Ah, this crap. That's fine. Also, I got to get a new uh, wideband uh, sensor. The wire got ate up due to vibration up on the metal and stuff, so I made clearance of that now. I got to see which sensor I got to get, so I might, you know, order that uh, tomorrow. Uh, but the good news is I was talking to Max Speeding Rods and I was telling him about my uh, turbo issue and all that. And they're going to send me a replacement. And I only have to pay for like the shipping. I think you said about 50 bucks compared to 193, which I was going to pay. Or I was going to get the new turbo that was about like for 300. But it was like a billet, uh, a billet con. It had like the gold wheel, I guess it's like uh, upgraded. But uh, I'm just, I gotta check my email again and stuff. But they sent me that like two days ago and I just recently opened it this uh, afternoon. And I said, oh wow, this is gonna be crazy. So that's the good news. Uh, 
turbo still spins and stuff, um, but I'm taking a risk. I do it any other time. O'Reilly's to see if anything uh, is not uh, firing. I want to check all my coil packs to make sure everything is uh, firing. If not, I'm going to upgrade my coil packs. Probably get some MSDs or some some damn type of legit coil packs. So I'm getting a misfire. Um, it could be all kinds of things to be honest but i want to you know check with everything first because my spark plugs was what one of them was just a little bit just with oil and stuff but yeah uh, i'll probably check and see i think i need a damn alignment too to do is keep a uh, look out for my drive shaft and stuff that's all I need to do said little loop. Can't even talk right now. Twelve. Twelve PSI. Just imagine if I add a torque converter on here give the thing time to spool uh, the turbo man I mean she still moves regardless but damn and what I like about the, the strap I had bought the bolt was a little bit longer than the original so I I like it but I'm gonna check everything uh, once again temp looking Macklin right now. I probably got to fill my trans fluid up. I lost a little bit. So Cruise work. Oil pressure good. Everything looking good. So I might be able to tow this week. But I might not, you know, be too heavy footed or anything in that nature. Just take everything nice and slow. So, yeah. It's not actually bad to be honest. 